Hey everyone, it's Jamie here, and this week I am staying at the Five Star Sea Containers Hotel, which has a prime location on the South Bank, London, just a 15 minute walk from London Waterloo Station. But hold your horses before you go any further. Please do show your support by liking and subscribing if you haven't already. It's never not appreciated. Dubbed as a lifestyle riverside hotel in London, the design of this hotel is reminiscent of a 1920s transatlantic cruise liner, a nod to the Queen Mary here of course, the retired British ocean liner that was ordered in 1918 during World War I and sailed primarily on the North Atlantic Ocean from 1936 to 1967 for the Cunard White Star Line, now a floating hotel in Long Beach, California. The Sea Containers Hotel is certainly a destination where glamour meets brutalism, with a nod to elegant nautical life throughout, and known as the London Anchor on the River Thames. And here's a model of the Queen Mary herself. I stayed in a superior room with views of the Thames, the London Eye to the west, and St Paul's Cathedral to the east. I paid £230 for this room-only deal, which is comparable to other luxury hotels in the area with similar views, and indeed quite reasonable. Prices usually hover around the £300 mark, so make sure you do shop around. On this occasion, I found the deal on Booking.com. You can order room service via the QR code which you'll find on the television. If however you'd rather hear someone's voice, you could actually use the telephone. Yep, they still exist. There are people on the other end, I promise you. On the ground floor, there's a really lovely lounge area where you can just sit back and relax.
Also on the ground floor is a lovely cocktail bar, reminiscent, I would say, of Hollywood glam. And I should know, I am just totally glam, usually. The service here was exceptional and the cocktails unique. Yep, that's me always. The Sea Containers restaurant offers an a la carte menu for breakfast, lunch and dinner and also you can get a great afternoon tea here. If you're looking to pamper yourself during your visit, well, take time to unwind and treat yourself to a personalised treatment at the Agua Spa. Or, if you want, blow off steam in the state-of-the-art gymnasium, still don't know what that is. Or, indeed, you can escape with one of the wide selections of films at the hotel's very own Curzon Cinema. Amazing. You can also enjoy panoramic views of London at 12th Knot, which is located on the, uh, yep, you guessed it, 12th floor. In summary, the Sea Containers gets a thumbs up from me. It's elegant, glamorous, contemporary, love the nods to the nautical theme and the Queen Mary, great location, brilliant staff, and on this occasion, I would suggest good value for money. But what do you think? Would you stay here or have you stayed here? Drop your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to Travel Blog Jamie on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube.